magandang araw po. Mapalad po tayo dahil sa pagkakataong ito ay makakausap po natin ang uh, most valuable player. MVP hindi po lang sa larangan po ng palakasan, kundi lalo na po sa larangan ng negosyo at sa buhay din sa pangkalahatan. Wala po akong ibang tinutukoy, kundi po si Ginoong Manny Veles Pangilinan. Mr. MVP, Mr. Chairman, magandang araw po. Magandang hapon at uh, thank you for having me to me. Opo, marami salamat po sa pagkakataon. Ang totoo po nun eh, matagal ko na po kayong hinahunting. Eh, alam ko napaka-busy po ninyo. Ano? Matagal din namin kayo hunting sa TV5. <laughs> <laughs> Ayaan niyo po at uh, sa ibang pagkakataon, pag-usapan po natin yan. Okay, ang dami-dami niyo pong ginagawa araw-araw. Kayo po ang, ang uh, bossing ng PLDT, <coughs> SMART. Ito nga, yung building na kinalalagyan natin ngayon ng Meralco, ang uh, Felix Mining, at yung nabagit nyo, ang TV5. Unang tanong ko po, Natutulog pa ho ba kayo? <laughs> uh, konti-konti na lang ang oras na nakakatulog ako because of all the work, no? E, e, ano po ang typical na araw ninyo? Actually, I'm a night person. Eh. So, mm -hmm. I tend to work late at night. Oftentimes, I have to bring my paperwork sa, sa bahay, no? Mm -hmm. Doon ako sa library nagtatrabaho. But I'm not a morning person. I hate breakfast meetings. So, <laughs> Ganun po. So, my mm -hmm. day starts mga alas 10 sa umaga. Okay. Yung first meeting ko. Then, tuloy-tuloy yung buong araw. Opo. Sa gabi, siyempre, humuhupa na yung ano, mga meetings. That's the time I can think think through, work work on my papers. Mm -hmm. oh. Kung panggabi po kayo, gising kayo siguro mga ano, oras na, mga alas 8? 7.30 to 8. So, oh. uh -huh. Tulog ako mga between 2 to 3 a.m. So, on the average, mga 5? Mga ganun. 5 hours? So, sapat oh. na ho ba yun? Diyan yeah, minsan putol-putol yung ano eh tulog mo pag may inisip ka, di ba? So uh, yun kanya dapat siguro dapat maging call center agent ako. <laughs> o kaya security guard. <laughs> Pero, I, will, I will not mention the third uh, <laughs> occupation. <laughs> Pero paano niyo po inaalagaan yung kalusugan niyo? Uh, considering uh, uh, alam mo naman natin na nasa Liebo 70 na po kayo. Oh, well, uh, disiplina mm. I I make sure that uh, Three times a week, naglalaro like, akong badminton mm -hmm. sa gabi, from 9 p.m. to maybe 11, 11.30 p.m. Ang problema doon, pagtapos ko, I need to continue working eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi your adrenaline is pumping after badminton. So rather than do the naughty things, just, just focus on your work, di ba? Mm -hmm. So then that puts you to sleep because it drains your adrenaline mm -hmm. uh, towards 1 or 2 a.m. Badminton, pero... Kayo po ay patron ng pangunahin na ng basketball. Kayo po ba eh, ba't napahilig sa basketball? Eh, siguro naman ako sa daddy at mommy ko eh, Kasi mm -hmm. mommy ko was a very avid basketball fan ng Sambeda. Oh, When okay. I was young, I schooled in Sambeda Elementary at sa high school. And mm -hmm. my mother was was involved with other pa mothers in San Beda na naghahanda ng mga pagkain sa mga players. Yung, yung basketball, laki na ng ginastos niyo po doon. <laughs> Uh, ano po ba, meron ba kayong nakukuha doon? Uh, alam naman namin na uh, puro paluwal yun eh. Ang ano talaga, nung, yung experience, uh, the best, uh, the most memorable of, uh, game for me, yung ano eh, nung our game against Argentina. Mm -hmm. Because ang gugulo nila, ang iingay. Eh. Yeah, Especially mag-cheer sila. Football fans ito eh. So they, they cheer the football cheers, no? But nung in the middle of the game, parang nagkagulo doon sa stands. Mm -hmm. Tapos tumingin ang gano'n, mga Pinoy mm -hmm. na, na nagkakagulo. Because they were unfurling the Philippine flag. Uh -huh. so, big flag. Bawal yun, actually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero naipasok nila uh -huh. yung, yung ano, madila natin. Uh -huh. And they, they, they laid it out. Kinabutan ako sa kwento niyo. Oo. Oh. Gusto ba? Huh? It's a huge. Uh -huh. Sabi ko, saan nyo na nakuha itong bandilang ito? Uh -huh. Kasi sinaki ng bandila sa Luneto Park. Eh. Uh -huh. Yung series, ha? Uh -huh. Yun, that's that's uh, it's, it just the feeling is just different and then mm. nakakalimutan mo lahat ng pagod mo gastos mo sa mm. sa gilas no? yeah, mm. na na mm. kwenta niyo na ho ba kung magkano gastos niyo sa basketball yeah meron na we saw the numbers uh, magkano na ho gross 4.2 billion pesos mula nung pumasok kayo sa uh -huh. dito uh -huh. laki nun, no may ROI po ba kayo doon? O ROI na yung nakita niyo yung uh, iniladlad ang bandila ng Pilipinas sa uh, Espanya? Yeah, Meron mga ROI. Return on insanity. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede po bang uh, 
uh, malaman yung kasaysayan ng buhay. Gusto po kasi namin na pag nakakausap po namin yung mga katulad po niyo na pangunlad, eh, makita din nila na hindi naman overnight ang, hmm. ang success. Eh, no? hmm. Nabalitaan po namin na uh, kayo pala yung nag-jeep din nung araw. Totoo ba yun? Oo naman. Mm-hmm. Oo naman. Kasi, ito, of course, I was very small. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was born in 1946, uh, tuminan dadit mami ko sa, sa, sa parents niya sa Isabella de los Reyes, katabi ng UST. Yeah, My grandfather was superintendent of public schools at the time, mm-hmm. uh, 40s, late 40s and 50s. Yeah, and, but my grandmother was, uh, yung ma- nanay niya was, ano, ordinary housewife. Pero mukhang marunong magnegosyo yung lola ko. Mm-hmm. I think to the point, that was quite close to her, to my grand- grandmother, to the point where, yung una suwelo ko sa FINMA, uh, 1,000 pesos in mm-hmm. 1970, inutosan ng, ng daddy ko na, Hoy, bigay mo yan sa lola mo, ah. yung mm-hmm. unang sweldo mo, mm-hmm. I had to give. So, doon kami yung unang natira, mga siguro up to three years, four years old. Then, nung nakalipat kami sa Little Baguio, San Juan, uh, yun, uh, may maliit na bahay doon sa San Juan. Pero hinahatid kami ng daddy sa San Beda kasi mm-hmm. patuloy siya sa Skolta mm-hmm. <coughs> to work sa Philippine National Bank. Head office dati sa Skolta. Pero pagbalik, siyempre, either... Um, bus ako or, or jeep. Ang bago sa akin, 25 centimos at the time. So, ang, ang gastos ko doon, 15, uh, 5 centimos sa, ano, sa crackers, 10 centimos sa Coke. Uh, tapos yung G's, yung pang bus yun sa G-liner. Ang inyong ama ay uh, messenger lang daw nung nag-umpisa? Umpisa siya sa Opo. Philippine National Bank. Pero, ibang klase, naging bossing naman ng Traders Bank. Yeah, he retired as senior vice president of PNB. Mm-hmm. And at the time, ang chairman ng PNB was uh, Bobby Benedicto. Mm-hmm. So, kilala niya ang daddy ko. Kanya, nung inakuha ni Bobby Benedicto yung Traders Bank, Traders Commercial Bank, mm-hmm. from the Dolor family, I think of Cavite. He, he appointed ano, my father to be president kasi magkakilala sila. Mm-hmm. So, that's, that's why guminawa ng ano uh, buhay namin noon no? mm-hmm. pero ang ma- mami niyo po walang uh, plain housewife din no? ordinary uh, housewife house pero wife. masipag ang mami kasi siyang ano ano mamalengke noon sa sa palengke ng San Juan di ba uh-huh. nagjeep lang yan uh-huh. uh, bayong uh-huh. siya kung siya nagluluto uh-huh. siyang pumapatay sa mga manok uh-huh. eh, nag-aaral ng sa uh-huh. oh kumakatay uh-huh. saka uh, nag-aalis ang balahibo ng mm-hmm. mga feathers ng manok, di ba? Mm-hmm. Siya, siya nagluluto. Mm-hmm. Kumusta po kayo nung estudyante pa po kayo? Ibang experience sa San Beda. That time, San Beda was run by the Benedictine, the Spanish Benedictines. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano, a very, I recall, very disciplined ang Benedictines, especially the Spanish version of it. Mm-hmm. Kanya, at saka aral. I was taught to 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 study hard mm-hmm. uh, prepare well for each each uh, each day no and uh, pero medyo memorization noon eh yeah, oh, so there's very uh, so good training but it, it doesn't open your mind mm-hmm. uh, that's why i felt that i should go to a school that can that is uh, magaling sa humanities or liberal arts and mm-hmm. that was Ateneo. Yeah, po. Kasi gusto ng lolo ko pumunta sa UP. Eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I chose Ateneo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know that was that was uh, actually one of the golden years I, I had in terms of of learning about life and uh, nabubuksan ng mga mata ko kung mm-hmm. ano dapat no. Ganun tama yung mga ganun. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga in uh, hindi pwedeng school bukol ka lang, no? sipag talaga dapat. Sipag. Oh. Uh-huh. Hard work lang naman, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wala namang ano eh. I keep saying wala namang magic dito sa success. Eh. Pero, pero meron pong nabanggit kayo minsan na yung pagiging middle child ninyo ang nagtulak sa inyo para maging achiever. Can you expand on that? Pa? Well, tatlo lang kami. Uh-huh. Uh, I have two other siblings, no? Si, ang kuya ko, si Chiki, Kasi mami ko mestiza eh. So yeah, si Chiki mestizo, guapo. Mm-hmm. At saka chick boy. <laughs> Kaya oh. chiki eh. <laughs> oh, kanya, pabuli siya ng daddy ko. Yeah, Tapos the youngest is si Tessie. Babae. So youngest at saka babae. So pabuli ng mami. Yeah, so ako yung middle child na 
you know, the neglected one. <laughs> so I have to strive to do better. So I have to work harder, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So parabang, you have to raise your hand uh, oftentimes to be noticed. Uh, but I know that at the end, my, my father loved me mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit and uh, my mom. Uh, obviously, hindi po kayo nanggaling sa pamilyang mayaman. Pero ngayon, pag sinabing MVP, MVP yan, iba yan. Uh, um, ano ang pagkakaiba sa tingin ninyo ng self-made billionaire na kagaya ninyo at nung pong ipinanganak na uh, bilyonaryo na? Ano, ano naman, syempre, kung ang parents mo, mother or father or both, uh, hmm. medyo mayaman, Eh, it's a good start for you. Hindi mo masama yung panganak ang mayaman. Yun no? mm -hmm. lang, uh, good start, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, sa amin naman, nag-upisa ng practically zero. Then, you know, uh, kasi hindi mo naman iniintindi yun na mahirap ka eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, basta work hard. And, you know, you take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you from time to time. Because there will be, all of us, uh, without exception, Ano, uh, we'll be presented with certain, we'll meet your crossroads, many crossroads in your life. Yeah, well. Kung kayo po kaya ay uh, hindi dumaan sa ganitong klase ng, ng uh, sabi natin yung, yung hirap, ano? dumaan kayo sa hirap eh. Uh, yung crossroads mm -hmm. na sinasabi nyo, uh, mga mahirap na parte ng buhay yan eh. Kung hindi kaya kayo dumaan sa, sa ganong sitwasyon, yung MVP na kaharap natin ngayon ang makakausap po namin. What would I rather be? You know, one disappointment in my life is hindi ako marunong kumanta. <laughs> Siguro naging singer lang ako. <laughs> do I regret not having a family? Of course mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, of course I do. Whenever I see mga pamangking ko o mga po na may asawa na may kanilang pamilya, siyempre, I, I ask myself, di ba, tinatang ko sarili ko, paano kaya kung meron akong sariling pamilya? Yeah, diba? So yung pong pagiging single, that's really by choice pa. Can you handle the emotional stress of having a family and having a wife, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. And a mother-in-law. Ang lakas tumawa niya, Dorne Mike. May joke ako nun. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and the demands of your job. I think uh, there's always a price you pay for the life you choose. Mm -hmm. Always a price you pay. And... Uh, I've seen successful business persons who have succeeded in business but failed in their marriages. Mm -hmm. Pero, meron po bang pagkakataon in your life na meron kayong naging partner, na meron ba kayong sinuyo o sinuyo kayo? Yeah, in college. Mm -hmm. Nagkaroon po kayo ng kasintahan. Baka naman may anak kayo sa, hindi nyo man lang sinasabi sa amin po. Can you call him already? <laughs> yeah, yan ang ano, yan ang tawag dito. Breaking news. <laughs> um, kung pamimiliin kayo, kung pamimiliin po kayo ng, uh, ano ba ba, i-rewind, -re -re hmm. tapos eh, ito yung nakaharap sa inyo, uh, MVP, mamili ka, ito, may pamilya ka, 9 to 5, accountant ka, pero happy ka naman. Uh, hindi mo pa sanang daigdig. Ito ngayon yung sitwasyon nyo. Hmm. Ano po ang pipiliin nyo? That's why you, that's why you need to reflect, di ba? Kailangan pag-isipan mo ng malalim. And that question transcends the issue of what you want to be because then you have to ask yourself, bakit ako ginawa ng Diyos? Diba? What, what is my purpose here on, life, on earth? Mm -hmm. diba? You have to ask yourself that. No? Beyond procreation. Uh, so there must be a bigger mission mm -hmm. out there. Uh, of course, he doesn't quite tell you what it exactly it is. Mm -hmm. Because madalas siya siya tinatext, hindi naman siya sumasagot. So ang pakiramdam nyo ay dinala kayo ng Panginoon Diyos dyan sa situation? Well, I think so. Sa kanya, there are times, to Ning, of course, you ask yourself, bakit sobra mo itong parusa nyo, di ba? Yeah, when you sometimes when you meet with failure and uh, there's so much pressure from mm -hmm. everywhere, then you sort of ask yourself uh, why. Are there some mga taong na iinggit sa MVP? Gusto ko maging MVP. Ay nako, hindi niyo lang alam. Huwag niyo akong sundan. Yeah, I don't know. You, you have to be, you have to really be made tough stuff. 
Mm -hmm. And that's true for, for somebody like Ramon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be successful, it's got to be a tough fellow too. Dumadating ho ba yung araw na naisip niyo, gusto ko magretiro na kaya ako? Of course. Tao din ako. Tao din. Nararamdaman mo yung sakit ng katawan, sakit ng ulo, sakit ng bulsa. So when are you gonna stop po? Sabi ng Diyos sa akin, you cannot die. Hindi ko pwede mamatay, maraming pang gagawin para sa akin. So ayun, kanya kami bumili ng ospital. Para hindi siya huwag na mamatay. So magretiro lang kayo pagkatapos na? ang buhay nyo. Siguro. Kasi, siyempre, iniisip mo na ano gagawin mo. Pag nag-retaro, palagay mo na bukas, ano gagawin ko? Di ba? Parang, misi sa bakasyon, I cannot, I cannot go to a beach. Punta sa beach na gano'n, na wala kang ginagawa. Di ba? Okay. Pero um, meron po ba kayong mga gustong gawin na, na ngayon na hindi nyo pa nagagawa? Alam mo, maraming opportunities dito sa bansa natin. Eh. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of your questions relate to ano pang, anong nakikita nyo? Maraming, yung mga butas ba? Mm -hmm. Na kailangan takpan, mm -hmm. kailangan ganapin natin. Uh, yung mga negosyong labas sa syudad, sa mga syudad dati. Tulad ng mining, yeah. di ba? Tulad ng tourism, di ba? Uh, Doon yun, uh, sa resorts yun, outside yeah. sa mga beaches natin. Mm -hmm. Or mountains. Mining is, is not located in the city. Uh, agriculture. We import a lot of our food items, yeah, uh, which yeah. is very sad. No? Mm. So, yun ang aking talagang pinofocus sa grupo namin. What mm. can we do? Unfortunately, di ba, we have demonized mining. Uh, agriculture is not something attractive to business in general mm -hmm. for a number of reasons. And of course, the resorts. Uh, We've spoken a lot about it, but we, we, we need to promote that and build the relevant infra mm. to get people to more convenient for them to to visit the resorts. So, ayun, yun uh, yung pinofocus namin dito. Apart from, you see, infra, yung mga power mm. and yes. telco and uh, ganun. Pero nandyan na po kayo sa practically sa lahat. Eh. Tubig, kuryente, kalsada. Ay nabanggit yung yung, yung uh, mas malaking nasa power generation na rin po kayo sa energy mining na banggit niyo po yan. Uh, Kompo airline, naka meron ba kay airline? Wala, wala, wala. Bakit po? Bakit hindi niyo pinapasok ang uh, aviation po? Kasi your biggest cost item is beyond your control, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung ano, yung ano ba fuel sa Tagalog? Uh, ang tingin lang natin, eh, gasolina. Eh, gasolina. Oh. Oh, ano, we have to pay more attention to the, the staples that our people eat. You know, uh -huh. Rice, corn, mm -hmm. mga ganon. Uh, even asin. Oh, ngayon nga, nag i tayo ng asin. Oh, nga, ngayon ko lang nalaman yun. Eh, uh -huh. Kasi uh -huh. we got awarded uh, in Iloilo City, the first desalination plant in the country. Yeah, well. Kung anong kailangan ng mga tao. Yung, Yun ang mas gusto nyo. Uh, oh, the, uh, the basic requirements. Uh -huh. At saka, it's not different from what should have been thought about. Hindi naman rocket science ito. Eh. Uh, the perfect business model sa akin is uh, dollar revenues, peso expenses, di ba? Mm. Like mining, yeah, well. like tourism, uh, anything that, that we can export. Yung pong Uh, uh, yung pong uh, nabanggit nyo sa agriculture na gusto nyo, parang paborito yung agriculture eh, no? Paborito yan. Okay, um, ano po yung uh, asahan namin sa inyo sa ngayong taon o sa mga susunod pa na mapapakinabangan po ng tao tungkol sa agrikultura? Well, nabanggit mo earlier yung ano, Carmen's Best, no? So, mm -hmm. we import more than 90% of our daily products mm -hmm. and ang import natin yung yung, yung milk na but then in powdered form or UHT. Okay. Bihira tayo magkaroon ng fresh milk dito mm -hmm. sa ano. So that that affects the health of our children and of course even the adults. So Carmen's Best uh, produce not only ice cream but fresh milk. Mm -hmm. Small quantities by in relation to the total. No? But uh, no, we're running out of milk because the sales have been going up mm -hmm. on both ends and we want to produce yogurt and cheeses more for the mass market. And uh, so we have to develop the daily, we have to go back to the farm, the back, uh, uh, backward linkage, sabi nga nila. And so we're buying into dairy farms. 
sa our, uh, so far we only have one dairy farm in Laguna mm -hmm. and but it has created smaller farms dairy farms around mm -hmm. uh, because the farmers now know they have a market for their milk yeah, and, uh, yun. so that's what that's what Indonesia has done and Malaysia has done uh, what they call a nuclear farm the, mm -hmm. the, the mother farm ang miralco alam po naman natin na uh, kahit na wala pang umaamin ay meron pong nagkaka-interest na ang, uh, ang franchise po ng Meralco ay gustong biyakin. Eh bilang tatay po ng Meralco, ano po pakiramdam niyo ro? The, the breakup of Meralco is I think going to be a very complicated business no? because uh, nakalatag ito, very extensive uh, network ng Meralco. Kung mm. break up niyo, to begin with, how do you break it up? Diba? Mm. At saka, the, the 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 franchise is different from the assets as we've seen in ABS, right? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, if I may use that example, uh, so the assets are owned by the shareholders of Meralco. So if you break it up into two, three, or four, whatever, then how do you compensate the shareholders? Malaki kompanya ito, no? So you talk about hundreds of billions of pesos, mm -hmm. no? Pangalawa, if you take break it up into two or three or four, then you have to replicate the overhead because then you need you know, a network group, a finance group, blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. right now, the size of Meralco allows it to make it a very efficient organization, mm -hmm. you know, low-cost ano producer. And uh, two, three, or four, your ability to buy power yeah. and operate uh, effectively, I think will get reduced no? mm -hmm. because you have to replicate the overheads and then... Uh, if it's four, then you have four buyers rather than one. Mm -hmm. uh, there are just some businesses that what they call natural monopolies, like uh, too big. Mm -hmm. Too big lang yun. Tsaka tollways. Pag nag, nagtayo ka ng tollways, so lalo siguro na magtatang mm -hmm. another tollways. Mm -hmm. So, yung mm -hmm. klase ng negosyo na ito natural monopolies. But, you know, yeah. sa akin naman, uh, this is a private company. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, uh, we're not sellers of the company. If somebody chooses to break it up, there's, there's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. That's, that will have to be uh, done by, by law mm -hmm. uh, and so forth. No? So, but there are economic consequences uh, flowing from that. From, but from the standpoint of our shareholders, the company is not for sale. No? Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, baka self-serving po itong sagot niyo sa tanong ko na to. Uh, uh, tama po bang sabihin na uh, breaking up Meralco is uh, going to be detrimental to the public? Well, every chief executive will say that about this company, no? Medyo malalim na tubig yan, Tunyeng. Iilag ako. Naiintindihan ko. Pero na, narinig nyo naman siguro na may mga tao na who have expressed interest sakali man na maging uh, uh, for sale ang uh, Miralco meaning kung gagawa ng hakbang ng kongreso tungkol diyan um, ano ang pakiramdam niyo sa mga taong yung baka nga nakaka nakakasalamuhan niyo pa sa mga sosyal uh, na pinag-uusapan niyo ba yan eh kung ibebenta naman ng mga shareholders namin ng kanila shares then it's entirely up to them that is mm -hmm. a private transaction and mm -hmm. then of course then everybody anybody should be free to take a look at those shares and buy those shares. Hmm. Wala akong problema dun. I mean, if if we decide to sell our shares here, well, we will say so. Hmm. Uh, Hindi po dahil kaharap ko kayo. Ano? Hmm. Ang dami pong uh, nagre-reklamo sa amin ng mga, mga areas, ng mga, mga electric cooperative, na gusto na nga daw nilang maging covered sila ng Miralco dahil Meron pala dyan mga 22 uh, pesos per kilowatt hour ang rate. Merong iba, mas mababa ng konti. Eh, magkano ba ang meral? 12 yata kayo ngayon. O? 11 something. O 11 something. For household. Kaya, no? kaya mas, pagka, kapag ka po may mga feedback po kaming naririnig na gano'n, eh, bakit na parang nade-demonize ang meral ko? This country, one of the sad things about the Philippines na, mm -hmm. na nakakalukot is that there's a natural or we have created uh, this aversion to size, to bigness, di ba? And mm -hmm. yet, uh, that is precisely where you get economies of scale, eh? that mm -hmm. where you could bring the cost down. Uh, 
you know, I, I don't know the fear about Morocco. It is heavily regulated by by government, yes. and quite rightly so, the mm -hmm. because you you're given the the monopoly powers in the respect of your franchise area. So you have to be regulated. Uh, but you know, if that monopoly is doing a decent job, as per your rules, uh, what's what's the problem, the mm -hmm. And then you have these cooperatives who are inefficient, do not invest. In the relevant infrastructure, and do not have the does not have the buying power mm -hmm. uh, to command rates, no. Uh, that that we can we can buy, because in fact we provide the the credit and we enable these new generating plants to be built. Because once you, we give them a power sales agreement, they can finance their power plants mm -hmm. because we have the access to the market. Kami yun eh. Na imagine ko kung gaano pala kahirap yung sitwasyon ninyo eh no. Uh, imagine yung pong, ang pinag-uusapan pa lang natin ngayon dito ay uh, mining, energy, tapos counting agriculture. Eh, araw-araw yan ang iniisip nyo. Well, oh, <laughs> but imagine ang problema ng presidente oh, eh, ni B, ni PBBM, oh, di ba? Minsan nakakaawa siya eh. Mm -hmm. To begin with, na namanan niya itong mga itong problema ng ito, di ba? Mm. Now he has to deal with those problems. So, nakakaawa siya. Yeah, total na banggit nyo na yan. Ano po ang masasabi nyo sa, sa style ng governance niya? Well, I, I, as a person, I like him a lot. Okay. Uh, I think he's, he's really doing his best to mm. discharge his responsibilities as the CEO of this country. So, wala akong masasabi doon. Si Pag si Presidente, he asks the right questions. Intellectually curious, he prepares well, mm. at least for the meetings I've had with him. Well, Senator Miriam Santiago was uh, actually saying na dapat po eh kayo eh maging presidente. Eh, eh, tingin ko yung ginagawa nyo ngayon eh. Uh, 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 too old man, di ba? Uh, uh, Opo, pero, pero pumasok, si pumasok, ni Biden. Po, pumasok po ba sa isip niya? Tapatin nyo nga po kami, Opo. Siguro pumasok for one second. <laughs> Malis ka agad, no? <laughs> I'm not built for politics. Uh -huh. Be, pero meron pong movement dati uh, na kayo po ay pumasok sa politika. Ngayon po ba? Uh -huh. Well, kahit na nga ba 75, 76, 70, 78 years old na kayo eh. Hindi naman, 77 pala. <laughs> sa July 14. <laughs> Opo. Hindi po, hindi no, po no. kayo mahihila, hindi po kayo matutulak, hindi kayo papayag. Hindi, hindi siguro, no? Mahirap uh -huh. uh -huh. na. Mahirap na. Tsaka ano eh, I don't want to so any interest in politics because then magkaka interest yung mga politicians sa akin na mm -hmm. oh bakit tumakbo sa ganun eh no i'm just i'm just in business di ba negosyante lang ako i mm -hmm. don't want to get into your world no mm -hmm. so, si so, RSA po tingin niyo pwede siyang pumasok sa politika if i were his friend i would tell him not to mm -hmm. di ba uh, but at the end it's up to him no mm -hmm. if he runs I'll support him ito na po yung yung partnership niyo sa Metro Pacific Uh, tapos SMC Tollway. Hanggang saan po itong partnership na ito? Parang relasyon sa babae din yan. Eh, di ba alam <laughs> kung saan po tutungo, di ba? <laughs> oh, the more the merrier, di ba? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great so far. Uh, I'm glad we started umpisa kami sa sports, di ba? Sa basketball. Mm -hmm. And uh, sa palagay sa power generation, sa tollways, mangyayari yun eh. So uh, I'm I'm happy with the with the relationship and uh, I I think there's uh, I think we have iba yung na ano mo eh, na na prove mo na mas masarap pa lang nagpartner kayo kasi the more you can do for the country. Totoo po ba na kayo nang umbida sa kanya na sumama sa grupo niyo? In his personal capacity. Yes. Yeah, po. Yes. Bakit, po, out, bakit niyo po ginawa yun? Hindi, unang-una sa, sa FIBA World Cup hosting, mm -hmm. so we had to, ano, kailangan ng mga sponsors, no? kasi mm -hmm. laki na ng gastos namin. So, pinuntahan namin siya sa, pinuntahan ko siya sa opisina sa San Miguel. Ah, so, I told him this, this is, ito yung cost to host the World Cup here in Manila, ganun, we need sponsors. Mm -hmm. no, Umuha siya ka agad. Mm -hmm sponsor in San Miguel ganun. Okay. Tapos that led to a discussion about getting uh, yung players ng ano niya, teams niya to join Gilas. Mm -hmm. Tapos uh, request to have Tim Cohn join the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. 
under chot, mga ganun-ganun, di ba? Tapos, then, hangcho. Uh, di ba, parang to your question earlier na Apo. lumalawag, lumalaki, lumalaki Apo. na, di ba? Mm. Para mang... Hanggang uh, sa napag-usapan ng negosyo. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. At saka, that's a genuine, ano, para mang... Uh, magkasing kami. Apo. Di ba? Pero nagpapaligsahan din ba kayo sa pagtulong sa tao? Well, miski kami mag, ano, eh, mag-competition kami doon eh. Ang laki ng pangangailangan ng mga tao natin. Apo. Siguro. Mm. Okay lang siguro. May pag-asa pa ho ba itong bayan natin? Well, da, mahirap mag-give up, di ba? Mahirap ang mag-ano. Uh, iwanan itong bansang ito. Isa lang ang bansa natin, di ba? Uh, sometimes you despair. Uh, pag nahirapan ka, but... Uh, uh, ano po yung pinakamahirap na na nangyari sa inyo na ang may kagagawang pa gobyerno? Not necessarily parti- na, uh, isang particular na opisyal na gobyerno. Ang gobyerno po siguro sa kabuhan. Na parang imbis na tulungan kayo, pinahirapan pa kayo, tinapakan pa kayo, tumutulong na nga kayo. Mahirap sagutin yan. <laughs> Kasi this will take two more hours, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Especially po sa atin, masyado regulated ang ating uh, industriya. Well, sabi ko nga, some industries really need, because if you're endowed, given by the government uh, with monopolistic or monopoly powers, then mm. you deserve to be regulated. Mm. Uh, kasi ibang industriya hindi naman regulated because you, know, you, you allow market forces to operate. Like, uh, actually, telcos are now deregulated. Yeah, but, mm. So, walang price controls, ganun ganon. But the sheer force of competition forced the prices to come down, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the case of Meralco naman, the, the only income we get is, uh, malaking sales namin, pero most of that is mga pass-through yun eh. Yeah, yung taxes ng gobyerno, universal charges, generation charge. Wala, we're not allowed by law to tack on the margin. Mm-hmm. Kaya whatever we bill, whatever they bill us, mm-hmm. yun ang pinapasa. Okay. Bossing, ano po may papayo nyo sa mga estudyante? na ngayon pa lang eh, nahihirap, nahihirapan sa buhay, di ba? Hindi naman magaang mabuhay ngayon. Uh, at uh, baka yung iba, gusto nang sumuko. Unang-una yun na napupunan ko sa mga kabataan ngayon eh. Yung mm. Sa mga, siguro hindi na yung pamangking ko eh. Yung third generation sa akin, yung mga apo. apo. And ngayon may apunan ako sa tuhod. No? Apo. Uh, pero sa mga apo ko, parang, Parang iba sa amin eh. Iba sa daddy ko. Iba sa values uh, na lumaki ako, no? Mm-hmm. Yung ba, parang, you know, parang yung, they don't want to work hard, di ba? At a goal. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what they have goals. Uh, because these are kids in their early 20s, eh, di ba? So, parang ayaw na magbanat ng buto. Yung parang ganun. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think some of them, they feel they're entitled. Parang, may utang ang mundo sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Either ganito, either a material thing or trabaho or whatever, di ba? Just because your name is like that, mm-hmm. you're entitled to it, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi ganun yun eh. Mm-hmm. It, that has not changed. And the world does, does not... You think you're getting noticed by the world. No. Mm-hmm. The world will move on. If, if you behave like this, it'll just move on. Forget mm-hmm. about you. Mm-hmm. So, I think uh, despite the advances of technology and so forth, and the changes that flow from, uh, from, from technology or other changes, uh, ano eh, there are certain values, there are certain unique Filipino values mm. that should not change. Our job as business people is to provide precisely their, the means to get out of poverty. No, no. But that's all we can do. We can only bring you to the water. You have to, ano, magpanat kayo ng buto. Okay. Yun ay hindi ko nakikita masyado. Not, not in my generation. Mm-hmm. But there's always hope. Eh. You should not lose hope. Pero ang, ang ganda na ng buhay niyo sa, sa Singapore. Eh. Uh, bossing, bossing na rin naman kayo doon. Tapos uh, sobrang laki ng kumpiyansa sa inyo ng mga nagdiwala sa inyo mga investors. Ba't pa kayo umuwi dito? <laughs> well, because we, I came back because uh, bumalik ko dito because of PLDT. Di ba? Nag-invest kami in, uh, in November 98. Mm. And uh, that was a big investment for First Pacific. So, ang, uh, I felt obligated, no? obligation to, 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 to care for that investment, make sure it succeeded for, for First Pacific and the shareholders of First Pacific. 
kanya lumipat ako dito in on January of 1999 mm -hmm. uh, yun, to make sure that it becomes a successful investment ayun na, no, no. I've been here for 20 for 25 years na okay. longer than I've been to Hong Kong in I was there for 22 years mm -hmm. wala na alisan Napansin ko po sa inyo, makabayang kayo eh. Oh, hindi ka nagpalit ng passport. Nga po. Pero you had your uh, opportunities. Yeah, of course. Ang gusto nyo. Kasi nung, when I was working for American Express Bank, uh, so, I guess they, they, boss ko nun si Richard Fenno sa uh, base in London. Uh, so, sabi nga nun, uh, we've done very well these past few years, so, we want to keep you, put you on the fast track sa mm -hmm. American Express Bank. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Uh, so, what are your plans? Mm -hmm. Next year, we want you to move to London and then eventually to New York. You don't. Uh, uh, una, I don't want to leave Asia. Pangalawa, well, different organization. Yeah, so, I said, no. So you give, I gave up that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Imagine, you know, I would never have come back if I went all, all the way to London, then New York. Palagay ko, wala, wala. Hindi na ako babalik dito. Meron po ba kayong ina-idolize na, uh, na, na tao, alam mo, sa, na, na foreigner, o, o kaya kahit sa kasaysayan, meron ba na tingin nyo ay doon nyo sinundan, isinunod yung inyo pong buhay? Well, I... I I do. Mga, ano, mga heroes of the past, of Apo. antiquity. For example, Alexander the Great. Di ba? He was what, in his 30s when he conquered uh, most of the civilized parts of the world at that time. Mm -hmm. And then he traveled more than 20,000 miles Apo. from Macedonia all the way to the, to the Indus River in India. Mm -hmm. di ba? To the point where his army revolted against him, saying, no, we're too tired. Mm -mm. We've raped enough women, we've pillaged enough treasures, we want to go back home. Okay, okay. And so he, he wept on the banks of the Indus River mm. because uh, he wanted to move on. No? Imagine if he went on, maybe he would have died in the Philippines, yeah, right? Well, we would have killed him, yeah, well. <laughs> like Magellan, right? Mm. So, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, Genghis Khan, one of the greatest conquerors of the world. Mm. Yeah. Uh, probably those, imagine that life at the time was much more difficult, much more yeah, basic than what it is today. So, but same, similar qualities manifest themselves in leaders of the past who are hands-on, lead from the front, make themselves noticeable as, as, as leaders. You know. mm. And they work hard. And they they were conquerors. Yes. Apo. Yes. Hindi natatakot. Hindi Pero natatakot. kayo ba may kinatatakotan? Mami ko. Ayan <laughs> 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 eh. Nung ano, kailangan... Pwede ba sabihin ito? Apo, apo. Kasi nung ano, at one point, uh, tagal ko na may hair niya. Apo. And so I decided when I was in 1995, when I was still in Hong Kong, sabi ko, Maybe I should have this operated because I like, squash on it. Mm. So I booked already a room at the uh, the uh, sorry, Matilda Hospital, yeah. one of the better hospitals at the peak in Hong Kong. Yeah, well. <coughs> so nalam na mami ko, to tumawag siya. So oh, iho, I understand you're going to want to have an operation. Blah blah blah. Um, you know, Iho, dito ka nalang sa Makati Med. Mm. Kasi then we can take care of you, I can take care of you, can feed mm. you. So it was a tone that was not a request. Mm. <laughs> it was an order. <laughs> so I said, okay ma, I'll, I'll come down. So Makati Med nga na. <laughs> oh, but if I knew what condition they were mm. at the time, my mm. God, I wouldn't have done it there. Uh, well, may kinalaman ba yung kaya nyo binili yung Makati Med? Hindi yan. Serendipitous din yun eh. May suwerte lang yun eh. Uh -huh. I, I, hospitals were never on my radar screen. Uh -huh. It should have been. Until one day na humingi na meeting si... Why is he talking too much? Oh, no, no. It's okay po. Uh -huh. Si Pauline Azanero, then president of PLT. Uh -huh. At uh, nagkaroon niya siyang procedure sa Makati Med. So he brought along the head of their uh, whatever department that was. Uh, 
who operated on him. And then they came in sa Sabado. Unexpectedly, kumatok. They knock on the door, di ba? So, sabi sa akin. So, they said, uh, described Makati Med, the issues, fairly serious at the time. And, uh, and they asked whether I could chair the board of Makati Med. Sabi ko, alam mo, wala ko hospital, wala ko hospital experience. Ganun, saka, I'm too busy. But, you know, eventually they presented. Sabi ko, okay, two years, I'll do it for you, two, two years. Polis, I did. When I got into Makati Med, I said, oh my God. Hindi nyo na ba iiwan? But then, but the bright spot was that it can be a profitable institution, that you can accomplish two things at the same time, like your ability, and one part of, the, of a good leader's ability is to hold two opposing concepts at the same time mm -hmm. and hold on to it, mm -hmm. even if they're opposing. Diba? Your ability to do good social work and make profits. Mm -hmm. You have to make profits because a hospital is capital hungry. Yeah, it always needs money to be able to invest in new equipment yes. and new technology. Otherwise, oh, you'll get left behind. And yun. But that's what people don't understand. Mm. Because when, when, when you're sick, you cannot do much, di ba? Mm -hmm. Or if you... The best example I have is that uh, when you have to care for people, you have to care for yourself first. You can only do good if you're doing well. Yes. A I'm company not. that is losing money cannot help other people mm. because it has to first take, take care of itself. Because any company is a human organism too, di ba? Mm. It can get sick. It can, yeah. it can fail, no? It can lose money. Mm. So you have to take care of yourself. And I, I saw Makati Med has got to be fixed in order for you to do well. And it's fixed now. Yeah, it's doing yeah. very well, actually. Yeah. Doing very well. So. Cardinal, ang ganda ng Ganda ng feedback. Oh, oh. Wala ko. Nasa habang kasaysay niya. <laughs> but uh, yung Lourdes Army, which is the second mm -mm. hospital owned by the church, is ano, we want to convert that to a mother and child. Okay. Because we have no dedicated, a uh, hospital dedicated for kids. Okay. For women, yes. But women and kids, very important. Because in Stanford, they built a new hospital dedicated for kids. And you could see that the equipment and the syringes are sized for kids. Yeah, because what they use for kids are the adult syringes, right? mm -hmm. And the rooms are, are different. They, they're, yeah, they're decorated as room for kids. And, you know, yung, di ba, the traditional hospital room is yung, there's the bed and there's the TV in front of you. Sa yes. line there, there's the bed, children's decoration, blue or pink. And, but they have this, uh, you're familiar, dentist, right? Yeah. Yung, you pull down, push up yung garot, yeah, kanilang drill, mm -hmm. ganun sa kanila. So the screen goes down or up, and then the, the child is given a, a wireless keyboard. Mm -hmm. So he can go to the internet or go to free to air or, mm -hmm. or pay TV. So ito ang mangyayari sa Lourdes? Well, we want to replicate what they did in Stanford. Yung po bang, yung po bang TVJ, talagang kayo ang nag na mapunta sa inyo sa TV5? You mean, did I talk to them? Yes. Hindi ako yun eh. Mm -hmm. uh, sila Jane, it's uh, the management TV5. Uh -huh. But eventually, I got involved in uh, discussion with them after they've decided to to leave uh, ano ba yun? tape. Uh -huh. Yung tape. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, GMA7. No? So, uh -huh. we didn't want to get involved in their their situation with GMA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, ngayon, at least sa, sa Husgado, eh, mukhang nakuha na ni, ni, ni TVJ yung, mm. yung 8 bulaga. Mm. Ang laki na ng gastos yung sa TV5, no? ROI nga, eh, di ba? So, oh. <laughs> oh, isa pa rin yun. Opo. Oh, di ba? Like, uh, tina, pag tinatanong ko, anong kumpanyang paborito ko, siyempre TV5, parang mm. problem child. Oh. May anak ka, di ba? Opo. Oh, o may problem child ka ba? Eh, ano so, par sana na may wala. Pareho ang mabait naman. Oh. Ayun ko, magkaroon ka ng problem child. Mm -hmm. Yun ang mamahalin mo talaga. Opo. Binibilang nyo ng mga gano'n na ba bang uh, ginagasta nyo dyan sa TV5? Naalala ko po, uh, 2010, uh, that was the first time that uh, your people talked to me. Eh, eh kung po eh. Uh, ba't ba yung mga inuutusan nyo hindi, ma, hindi, <laughs> hindi nagtatagumpay? <laughs> Opo. Uh, gano'n na ho kalaki ang ginasta nyo sa, sa TV5? Marami na. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko lang alam, precisely. Mm -hmm. 
ano, several billions. Several no? billions. Apo. Ano ho ba ang plano nyo? Uh, uh, kung kumikita kayo sa iba, doon nyo nalang gagastusin para pantay nyo. No, well, nagre-reduce na. Nababawasan yung kanila losses ngayon. Mm -hmm. Kasi nakakatuloy yung signal kasi Apo. yung kumikita naman, yun ang ginagamit namin to support TV5. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not out of the woods yet, but you know, medyo okay na yung kanilang ano. Uh, uh, cash flows at saka yung losses medyo maliit na lang. Mm -hmm. Tolerable na. Bakit niyo po ba kinuha yan in the first place? Kasi ang theory namin yung convergence because the media, data, internet are all converging into one mm -hmm. platform, no? mm -hmm. one infrastructure. So that's basically the reason. But uh, ano, eh, yeah, it was uh, mahirap yung ano, eh, free to air. Napa. Talaga. Kasi wala kaming masyadong artista, director, scriptwriters, both GMA and ABS, ABS uh, had. No? So, mahirap talaga yung mm -hmm. negosyo. Anyway, in one uh, ano yung ad, ad agency ba yun? Mm -hmm. That advertising, they do it once a year or something. Napa. They gather all the advertisers. We were in Naga. Mm. Well, Gabi was still around, Gabi mm. Lopez and uh, si Mozon. At Congress, at, at Congress, Congress yeah. yun, sa Naga. So, of course, there were three, there were the three of us, and the mm. two of them kept debating as was number one. So, yeah, well. so the, I, I don't know who the moderator, was it Karen Davala who was the moderator? <laughs> so, what can you say, Mr. Pangilinan? Well, I can say, we're the undisputed number three. <laughs> 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 they debating whether they were one or two. We're on the number three, undisputed. Pero nagsisisi ba kayo na ginawa niyo to? You know, tulad sa pag-ibig, walang regrets yan eh. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Kung minamahal mo, mm -hmm. o kung na-reject ka niya, eh di, no regrets. Apo. Just move on. Pero you're aspiring to become number one siguro naman. It's a steep climb because GMA is way ahead of the race, no? Pero mm -hmm. uh, the news is doing better. Now and uh, thanks to ABS, we have the highest rated show. Yeah, yung ano ba? Batang kaya po. Yung batang kaya po. Yeah. It's a kadi noon time show, especially if it bulaga. It's still it's still uh, TVJ. Mm -hmm. I think when they relaunch sometime in Feb, and it bulaga, I think masisi uh, papa sila no. So at least those two are anchor programs. And, and you you partnered with the uh, channel uh, channel nine. nine. Apo? With Ramon. No. Ganun, ang haba na ng partnership. Hanggang saan pa kaya ito? Ano pa kaya yung susunod na partnership? Baka naman meron po kayong pang-scoop sa akin dyan. Meron eh. Apo. Paano yun? Pwede po ba sabihin nyo na sa amin ngayon? Ano ang sabihin natin? <laughs> Next interview na yan. <laughs> I-schedule -schedule po namin yan. Apo. Naiisip ko lang po, no? Siguro wala, wala na kayong magiging problema sa 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 kayamanan yung mga anak mga mga pamangkin ninyo apo niyo apo niyo sa tuhod i'm sure uh, uh, magiging bastante na po sila um, wala na po meron ba kayong naiisip na iba pang pamamanahan ninyo na hindi naman parte ng inyong pamilya meron yung kasama ko nagsilbi yung nagretire na secretary ko sa Hong Kong si Miranda Mabo. Uh, I think served me for, I would say, more than 30 years. Nag-retire siya because, oh. would you believe she's even older than I am? Ay, oh, grabe. Uh, yung mga dating waiters sa amin sa Hong Kong, yung mga secretaries ko dito. Baka may space pa, andito po ako, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Lumipan sa TV5, di ba? <laughs> Kayo man staff niya? <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> so, yung pala, para pamanahin nyo ako, kailangan ko pang lumipat sa TV5. Uh, I'm glad you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meron daw po kayong uh, award na mula po sa, sa Papa, uh, highest award uh, from the Pope sa mga layman. Uh, yeah. so, pero sabi ko, nung nataga po yung sulat, yeah. po, parang bakit walang kalakip na ano? Free ticket to heaven. <laughs> so, buti yun. Pwede, pwede na akong mag, magkasala ng husto-husto, di ba? <laughs> ang, ang huling tanong ko po sa inyo, kung kayo po ay, kung kayo po ay uh, bibigyan ng, ng uh, kapangyarihan ng Panginoon Diyos na, na bumalik sa nakaraan, yung po bang mga ginawa ninyo uh, sa buhay ninyo ay gagawin niyo ulit. At kung meron man kayong hindi gagawin, 
ano po yun. At kung meron naman kayong gustong gawin na hindi nyo pa na ano po yun. I wish I were in my 20s because even my old age, I play with people who are one-third my age. Because if I play with people my age, walang, <laughs> I won't move in court, di ba? And uh, it will become a hit and giggle game, di ba, with them. So, yun, I wish I were 20s in my 20s so I could really beat them mm. uh, like hell, no? So, it's a different world. So, where, where will I be? 50 years hence from mm -hmm. the time that uh, from today no well, uh, i don't know and and that's part of the uh, the mystique of of who you are diba well, uh, as i said uh, uh may mga ano milestones sa buhay mo that, that you you have to that will you will encounter and you just have to make the right decision unfortunately like even your business decisions your decisions in business hindi mo alam talaga kung tama yung decision mo. Only the facts after will prove whether you made the wrong or right decision. Yeah. Yun, yun lang. So, basta, huwag ka matakot. Huwag mm -hmm. ka matakot. Uh, you have to work hard. So, salamat. Tama, ba, tama ba yung decision dito? Sa interview. Sir, salamat po sa inyo. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you po sa inyo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.